There's no substitute for racing experience in Europe. You're racing against people in some cases who've been racing competitively since they're seven years old. The only way to, to catch up is to do intense racing. They brought me to Europe when I was 15 years old uh, to race against the best juniors in the world. I think they've taken that up a level and given uh, riders even more of an opportunity to come to Europe and to race against the best. Every country would like to have the situation we have. Belgium, France, Holland, you name it, it goes in waves and we've got the wave right now. The U.S. has, has made tremendous gains in the past few years. You've seen we have such a, such a deep field of riders. Just the European exposure you, you, you gain, I mean, you're thrown into the, the heart of bike racing. And to be living there and, and just soaking it up and, and seeing if you can cut it in Europe and, and seeing the culture differences. Almost 100% of our riders um, will be selected with a USA Cycling national team at some point. I think it's a really good partnership that we have going on. Um, there's a mutual respect. It's really good for the riders. They really get even more exposure to Europe. They really have like the two, three months of exposure with the, with the European racing. We're not trying to compete against each other. We're trying to make those guys and to make those riders better. And that's our main goal. It's a little bit survival of the fittest. You've got to be big motivated to come out here and do it and you gotta slug your way elbow to elbow in these races and uh, you know, hold your own. Go, 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 go! A lot of people are kind of seeing me as maybe the next American Grand Tour contender. I don't know if that's really possible, but I'd like it to be.